Hey, everybody, this is Ken for the Information Nation. I'm bringing you more stuff. As a matter of fact, today, I'm going to take you on a journey. My journey through vaping and how I got to where I'm at. Now, what I'd like to show you, I'm going to show you my first ever setup for vaping. And it'll blow your mind. It'll, it'll literally blow your mind. That's it. An MVP2, a whopping 11 watts, and a hyper tank. That was my first setup for vaping a year ago. And I'll tell you, I was tickled pink to get it in the mail, and I juiced her up and had everything all set up and hit the fire button and started vaping, and I haven't looked back since even though this thing leaked all over my hand like a cow peeing on a flat rock. It was a heck of a vape. And then I started watching videos. Well, I'd started before I was watching Indoor Smoker and I was watching uh, Rip Trippers and uh, Matt from Suck My Mod and um, you know, some of the other ones out there. I started watching them and I started saying, hey, they, you know, that's, I can do some of the stuff that they're doing. So I did and thought, you know, hey, I want to get into rebuildables. So this, this little cotton picker right here, my, my first rebuildable Kraken. And I'll tell you something, I fell in love with this tank. I mean, I just would rebuild it, fill it up and just go to town on it. I just loved it. it. Had a little look. Look at the little bitty adjustable airflow on there. Look at how how tiny that is. So I got one of those. Then I got a second one of those. And um, I started building my coils. So I ordered some wire, and some cotton. And I started building coils. And I said, "This is pretty cool." So as I went on. A little bit later on, I got a K-Fun clone, and then I got a Fogger version 4, and I liked them pretty much, and rebuilding them and that, it started to become a hobby. Then I went out, and I bought another Kraken, and this is the worst Kraken I've ever bought. Now, I'll tell you why. For one... It screws on the bottom rather than just pulling off. you got to unscrew the bottom. That was bad enough. But then, if you look at the holes, let me see how the holes are lined up there. They're right next to the screw. And it was a bitch to build. It was just a real bitch to build. So I took it and I said, okay, I went back to my other Krakens, and this one hasn't been used since. It was made by um, SKS. I never bought another thing from them. Didn't like it. Then Kanger. Kanger came out with the Mega Tank. And to go along with the Mega Tank, they had the stainless steel uh, tank. If you didn't want to use the glass, you could use the stainless steel. Um, and I really liked it. I thought it was a little bit of pain in the ass. The airflow was loose. The adjusting ring on here was very loose. So you'd vape on it. it you'd bump it with your finger and it would move. And <clears throat> Had problems with that. Um, during this time, I came across an RSST rebuildable. There it is. Little RSST. I, I drilled the hole out. As you can see, that's a heck of a lot bigger. They give you a little pinhole there, and I drilled that out. Get better airflow. I still use this one today. Then I said, okay, I want two tanks. So I got a second RSST, this one with the glass, and I still use this one today. Then 
RSST came out with the dual coil RSST, which is sitting on top of my Sigali 20 watt. And I'll tell you something, that Sigali 20 watt, when that came out and I bought that, I said, man, I am in hog heaven now. I am just in hog heaven. And this one I still use. It still vapes. Not, uh, not the greatest one in the world, but um, it does still vape, and I use it from time to time. Then. Um, Chemical Cross, the iLeaf 20, which since then, the iLeaf 20 has been absconded by my wife, both of them. And she also took the Aspire Nautilus. That's just a tank. I got her a cage tank for it. That's what I got left of that. And she's got the Aspire Mini and both of my iLeaf 20s, which is okay. Also, during this period of time in the first year, I bought this Maraxis clone uh, manual or whatever you want to call it, mechanical mod. Got a nice little fire button on the bottom there. Takes an 18650 battery. Works well, but I really wasn't um, that tuned into it. Because there was no way to regulate the wattage of voltage. I mean, what you got off the battery was what you got. So I kind of put that to the side, and I use that from time to time, but I don't really vape on it anymore. I use it for the, uh, I, I use it for the 510 so I can build on it, or uh, if I want to test a certain build and I want to just put raw power to the coils while I'm building. But then I, that's, I bought that. Then iLeaf. iLeaf came out with the iStick 50 watt. And I have been vaping on this since I've got it, and I've got two of them. I've got a silver one, and I've got this one that they call pink. It's not pink, but it's more of a fuchsia. Love the battery life on this 4,400 mAh battery. Cotton picker lasts me two, three days. Then I just put this on top of the other one, which right now is charging. And I can vape for two, three days. I put this one on the charger. They fit nicely in my pocket. So if one is starting to get low, I keep vaping on that and drop one in my pocket. And I'm ready to switch over. And I, it's great. It is great. As you could see on this one, I have my Kanger Sub Tank Mini on here. And it vapes great. Just cotton picking great. Um, I also have the Kanger, which has juice in it, by the way, the um, sub tank, 25 millimeter. And it's another great one. I enjoy it. And then recently, as you might have seen in one of my videos, I purchased the Mako. Turn that around here. You could see the name, possibly. Yeah, there we go. It says Mako on it. And um, I got to using this for more when I'm doing blends of my juice because um, I can get a true flavor on it. I can re-wick it in no time. Don't have to change out the coils. It's really a handy little device for me to have. Would I use it for my everyday vape? No. Um, it just doesn't last long enough for me. Because with the um, with the sub tank mini, I'm filling this thing up two, sometimes three times a day, sometimes more, depending on how heavily I vape and how long I'm up. 
So um, you're probably asking yourself, why is he going through all of this? What, what, you know, what's this got to do with anything? Last year, March 18th, 2014, was an important day for me because that was the day I stopped smoking. And I started vaping. And I started with this. And I have progressed to this in a matter of a year. So this is my one-year anniversary. It's my journey through vaping. Like I say, since then, I've learned a lot about vaping. I've learned how to make coils, standard coils, uh, dual coils, twisted coils, sick coils, unsick coils, some of the sickest coils you've ever seen that don't work worth a damn, because I have a good time doing it. It's a hobby. But also the fact that I have not had a cigarette in 12 months. 365 days. This is day 366, the start of year number two. One year's in the books. My wife is starting to vape. Get her off the cigarettes. A long time ago, when they were hammering on smokers, I thought, well, I'll just keep on smoking. They only raised it 25 cents a pack. Then it was 50 cents a pack. Then it was a dollar a pack. And when it went from a dollar, some of you people out there, some of you older people out there that smoked, that are now vaping, that are watching this video, you'll remember a time when a pack of cigarettes cost you 35 cents. When I was in service, they cost a quarter, 25 cents. You buy an entire carton for $2.50. Today, an entire carton is going to cost you over $50. When you think about it, <clears throat> let's count it up. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15 different atomizers. Each one costs me less than a carton of cigarettes today. You think I've saved money? I've saved a ton of money. Yeah, I buy I buy some juices. Uh, I'm going to come up with a, you know, in a while I'm going to bring I'm going to bring you a review of some of the juices that I use, such as uh, this one here, Seduce Juice. I've got some 118 mil bottles of that coming. They were on sale. Well, I'll discuss that in, in in a future video. But the whole thing is, is here I was. Never thought I'd give up smoking. Never thought I'd be able to quit. And I did. And I stopped without a craving, without the patch, without gum, which, by the way, contained nicotine. Figured that one out. But that's okay because they got them classified as health devices. Makes no sense to me how in the heck you can classify something that gives you nicotine. One thing is a class is, is, is a medical device, and the other darn thing is, is bad for you. I don't know. I can't figure that out. But anyhow. But I just thought you'd like to see my journey through vaping over the last 12 months. And uh, it's been well worth it. It's been well worth it. I've met some nice people through vaping. Um, saw some fantastic videos. Watched a video with Phil Bassardo and uh, Dimitri when they went to China. Couldn't wait for the next one to come out. Saw all of them that he posted. Uh, saw the one with um, Dimitri, which I, I um, took a couple clips out of from the uh, Tampa conference. The thing is, we have a product here that's helping people quit smoking. And I'd like to see more smokers take the journey. Take the journey that I've been on. Get rid of smoking. Get rid of the tobacco. Screw R.J. Reynolds and Philip Morris and the rest of them. You know, they lied to us for years. So screw them. But it's time to fight. It's time to fight with the... uh, the government now. 
And just think about it. Had I had to have spent the same amount of money that I was spending on smoking, I probably never would have tried this. And that's one of the reasons that I do what I do. But then again, it's my anniversary. One year smoke-free. And, uh, hey, government, kiss my lily white ass. So that's my opinion. This has been Ken for the Information Nation bringing you more stuff. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you would. Give us a thumbs up. And until next time, in the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? Hey, have a great day and keep on vaping.